Okay, um, I'm making a video just to kind of show, um, working on the project for a while. Well, it's over a year. And one of the biggest uh, obstacles that I've had is doing it yourself as far as trying to cut um, aluminum plate. This is a half inch aluminum plate. This is eight inches wide. And you can see right, uh, obviously I've got a uh, sliding miter saw in here. Uh, I tried this with a regular chop saw going really, e really easy. Um, don't really suggest it. I mean, even though I was being super careful, being bolted down on each side, clamped, it still caught a piece and shoved it up in the blade. And it, was, uh, it was pretty, uh, pretty scary. So, um, ideally, on something like this, you want to use a band saw, but you really can't get a good, uh, good finish to it as far as uh, butting up an edge or whatnot. Um, so this is a solution that I came up with. Um, I've actually cut it quite a few pieces, and I kind of decided before I'm almost done with my project. I'm going to do one last cut. I need to shave an inch, or excuse me, a half an inch off this edge right here to make the uh, to make my z-axis fit uh, properly for a somewhat largest CNC router, hopefully a mill when I'm done. And, um, and you can kind of see the technique that I'm doing, and it's actually fairly safe. You know, nothing super, nothing, nothing's perfectly safe, but I think this is about as safe as you're going to get for doing this at home. Um, and you'll see why. And I'm going to take, I'm kind of guessing about a sixteenth of an inch off at a time. And um, let's go ahead and get started. And it, like I said, it actually works really well. If this was any larger of a piece, I would have it clamped on both sides. Absolutely. Even, the, even using the, that technique that I've got. So, um, let's go ahead and get started. Let's go and focus it a little bit uh, closer and um, get going. Okay, um, probably the first rule of thumb is, is actually uh, keep body parts out of the way of the blade. It can break a tooth off, whatever. So, I mean, don't try to stand directly behind here. Keep your body out of it. Um, so, uh, we're uh, obviously wear eye protection, kind of a no-brainer. So, uh, what I've got, and I've got this blade set to where I can drop this down, and it's barely touching this, okay? It's not even touching right now. So, I'm going to back it out a little bit, the depth stop, to where it just contacts, okay? And every time I make a pass, I'm going to go back out and I'm going to turn down a little more. So you can kind of see the concept of what I'm going to be doing here in a second. It does work really well. Um, it's a nice tight finish. Make absolutely certain your clamp is uh, done up. I mean, I could be using another clamp from here to here just to kind of scare it a little more. But I think what I'm doing is, uh, is fine for this demonstration. So, all right. Got a little water here. Doesn't, I don't need lubrication. Um, just kind of keep the blade cool a little bit. Probably doesn't even really need it at the, at the, at the rate that I'm going, but can't really hurt anything.
for young bands making it to LA. He says, quote, one regret I have. Going back to the years. Okay. Pieces out here. You can kind of see how clean it is. I mean, I'm running my finger down here. I mean, no sharp edges. This is really, I mean, this is nice and nice and clean. Even if I invert the factory edge right here, which is this one. See a nice, nice clean, nice and square. Um, as far as the ability to do this, uh, this kind of work at home, just using a uh, sliding miter saw for $120. Um, that's pretty pretty amazing. I've been using this about the last half of my project, fabricating little pieces that I needed for brackets or, or mounts or whatnot. And this has been a pretty valuable tool. This is actually the only thing, uh, I have a couple other saws, but this saw I've got set up only to cut uh, aluminum. It does actually have the factory blade that it came with. And it's got a cobalt blade. I probably shouldn't be turning this with thing powered in, but it, it's got a 40 tooth, uh, 40 tooth blade, and uh, that's a carbide tip. You can buy the, the metal blade, but I'm, I'm doing it so slow and aluminum so soft. I, I'm really not, I don't think I'm taking a lot of chances with it. So, um, if I thought I was, if, I'm watching the teeth and they are holding up real well. If I thought I was having issues with teeth or uh, things like that, I would swap the blade out, get a little bit better blade, and still continue to use it to cut aluminum using the technique that I've got. Um, not a chopping motion. So, okay. Um, thanks for watching.